Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Stalker. And in the last episode, we killed some bandits. And, um, well, that's about all we did. So in this episode, I was thinking we were going to go get some tools for basic work, which is... wait. It's up here in the sawmill area, and it's in this house, in the attic, right up the end, right about here. It's on a table, and that's where we are going to go. Also, we sold a bunch of guns, and yeah. Also, I am going to try and keep the commentary to a minimum, so you can get the atmosphere of this game. And there's too much atmosphere to waste on pointless commentary. So, enjoy! Sorry if it's stuttering. I don't know why it's stuttering. show you this area because you can find uh, a rifle here with uh, which uses the 5.56 rounds which are stronger than the 5.45 rounds which my gun uses but the advantage that my, my gun has is that um, ammo for my gun is a lot more uh, how should I say common yeah so it's easier to find ammo for my gun I'm going to make sure I'm going in the right direction. Which, uh, I'm not. Whoops. Also, if you're in a firefight, um, it's best advised as not to sprint because because you might get shot. Let's see if we can kill this this beast. Major, major dig tire. We shall slay it. Alright. You know, stalkers actually eat these things. Quite edible, actually pretty handy if you ask me might have no food just shoot one of these down it's just like pork I would imagine I mean you can't eat it in game but they do god the stuttering it's so bad it's quite irritating actually I apologize now I think there is a Pyrogeist. Looks looks like two Pyrogeists, if that is Pyrogeists. If I am correct. Uh, I'm confused of what the hell that is. It looks like it could be the sun. 
but I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, we're just gonna go get the stash. nothing special but it helps like the sun. Now I've got to check for zombies. There's one there. Two, three, four, five. There's a lot more. There's one up here. I think I'm just gonna run past him. And turn my torch off. There's about 10, 11 on my radar. Mine's going down. So I better check this area. lucky. That was extremely lucky. Oh, I'm going to run. See if I can get up here without getting shot. Okay. This is a good vantage point for this area. We'll take out a few. using this gun. I don't know if you can hear the battle music. It's pretty cool. I oh, know you don't. Oh, there's a bloodsucker. That's unusual. he managed to hit me. Uh, I'm just gonna wait till it comes closer. so many zombies. I'll go back to this gun.
coming from. Sorry for the background noise. Someone's building something outside. It's out of my control. I'm gonna drop this piece of crap. Now this is the house. There's more than just the the uh, tools in this area, some ammo, and that's the tools, and uh, I also have something else to show. Now if you run past here, you will find yourself in a pretty empty area, you're safe from zombies here, unless they follow you. Uh, I haven't uh, seen any around here but I <coughs> what I do want to say is I'll show you that you can find a sniper rifle right here I'll show you where I am on the map just on the edge where it's blurred and if you don't know just have a look around but uh, I can tell you that it is you know, it's this tree. Take a good look if you if you don't remember. But yeah, that's it. And now I'm gonna go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, get away from me. Oh shit. spot. Um, let's see how I can do this. Okay, it seems like we avoided that bloodsucker and the band of zombified stalkers. It looks like they're moving out somewhere. Maybe they're migrating, looking for food. And uh, I'm not too sure if they're traditional zombies, like as in they feed on human flesh and such, because it seems that um, they're not affected by a virus, but rather their brains have been uh, scorched. And that means they're just zombified stalkers and they do not feed on human flesh so oh sell this sell some other stuff I do not want to interrupt those boars they will kill me unless I run but I'm too way down to run uh, far so yeah So after we sell these uh, weapons, we're going to go I'm listening. and uh, do a mission. Oh, man, these stalkers are always in the way. Everywhere I go, they're always in the pathway, just standing there. 
So annoying. Alrighty. You can have that. You can have those. And I'll keep these. Hmm. Goodbye. Don't let the door. Uh, put these away because I don't. I don't need them. I'm not going to use them. Vodka is a cheap alternative to anti-rads, um, but but whatever. Uh, I only keep one bottle on me at a time because once they accumulate, they can start to weigh a fuck ton. And uh, I have to give them some vodka. Brought you some tools. The ones for basic work. Give you some money. Got some booze. Want a shot? Very, g very well. Here's to a steady hand. Steady indeed. All right. So after he drinks that, you can ask him for repair. Oh, modifications. So less recoil. More handling, more reliability, and less weight, which is good. Having less weight is always a plus. And some side protection. I'm going to do some repairs. Repair. Also, in the next episode, I will tell you. I will show you where to get the fine tools, uh, tools for fine work. But for now, we're just gonna go get along with this guy's Welcome mission that he has. I'll help you deal with the bandits. Alright, so we Might have to meet the stalkers at Ranger Station. And Ranger Station is not far off from here. In fact, it's right up on top of that hill. And I'm surprised these guys aren't killing each other. Trust me, it's more common than you'd think. <coughs> oh, I hear some gunfire. Looks like someone got into a fight and lost. Um, I might come back and uh, grab this shotgun later, and then sell it. <coughs> oh, sorry. Hmm. Nothing of worth or interest. Uh oh. Get out of the way. No. Get out of the way. Oh, my gun's on auto. Oh, uh, unfortunate for this guy. I could have killed him if you just got out of the way. Uh, sorry, bro. Well, I'm not sorry, but it is your own damn fault. These guys tried to help you. Oh well anyway, we've got a mission to do. Haha, <laughs> pseudo dog. Piece of shit. Right, um... Hmm. Hello guys. What's up? I'm here to help. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. You don't like talking to people with guns in your face. Uh, well, my computer will process this fast enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, there we go. Don't let the center see. So apparently we have to kill some guys. Don't let the what? Maybe I should have turned on subtitles, it probably would have been easier. Whoa. Whoa. What have you got? Look. 
of these here artifacts, and we can get more of them. In exchange, we're looking for weapons and some good equipment. You know that I've got whatever duty you've got, so weapons and equipment are not a problem. All my stuff is top quality, no doubt about it. Well, that clearly Okay, so up. duty Take is planning to trade weapons with the asshole bandits. And I forgot to take it off semi-auto, I mean automatic. Because my accuracy has gone down. Okay, I got one. Let's see if I can get another one. I got another one, yeah. Oh man, they always move around so much. Come on. Come over here. Come on. Come, come on. Come on. You want some of this? You want some of this? Oh shit. <laughs> Training grenades. Whoa. Oh, damn. That's deadly. Damn, this guy in exoskeleton's a walking tank. Now we got another one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Jeez. It seems like the AI on their side can hit something. On my side, they can't hit shit. You guys... Fucking AI I was walking into me. Wow. Well, that wasn't too easy. It was actually quite hard. Sorry if my aim was uh, off. You know, I kind of panic when I'm in firefights. And this one was quite a big firefight. Besides, my gun isn't that great yet. Next episode will be pretty damn good. Seeing as I'm going to go get the uh, tools of fine work. That should be interesting. Ah, the man with the exoskeleton. You can grab a PDA, PDA off him and uh, sell it to traders. And the thing about that is, um, if you sell 10 pieces of information to any trader, they give you a discount. And I believe it is a discount of 15%, 15, 15 I think. Which is, uh, that's, that's pretty good. That's, uh, decent. I mean, you can just buy a shit ton of, uh, medkits. I'm not too sure, actually, but I just thought of this right now. But what if you sell... I don't know if, um, you also sell stuff for 15% less, but if you have, like, something, like, say, medkits... Oh, wait, that's right. No, that doesn't affect it. Because uh, he sells it back to you for twice the price. There's also a stash behind this place. It's got the Adam symbol on it, as you can see. And uh, there's also a stash up here. I mean, you can go talk to the stalker, and he tells you where it is, but uh, I'm going to come here anyway because I don't want to backtrack. And what you get is let's see what you get. You get like some kind of uh, Spas 12. I'm going to move it over here and keep this. So, let's see. We've got a SPAS-12, well, it looks like a SPAS-12, but, uh, let's see, SPSA-14. Um, well, I think what happened here is, uh, the people who made this had to change the name to avoid extra fees to pay the, uh, gaming, um, gun companies royalty fees or something like that. I'm gonna have my reward. Can I? Can I go? Oh, I hate it when they do this. They just, they just walk around, and you can't talk to them. Come on. Oh, I bet he's gonna take his sweet time. Let's see if I missed anything. No. No. How the hole. 
Aha. There we go. There See you go. later. And I'm carrying too much stuff. Oh well. We can, uh, we're not too far off from Skardovsk. So we, we may be able to sell this stuff pretty easily. The only downside is, uh, things may creep up on you and you might die. Yeah, see? It's a bunch of flesh. Let's see if we can take them down easily. Sweet, got one, two. Come on, you fat shit. They're just pigs. I mean, seriously. Alright, I got three. <laughs> Bullets flying all around the place. What's going on in this zone? You know what? I want to see how many things I've killed. Let's see our stats. Mutants, 8 killed. Stalkers, 29. Well, that's uh, quite a weird contrast, actually. Shouldn't it be mutants? Nah. This is the guy we killed earlier. Sup? Whoa, what happened to these guys? I was just here, uh, just before. I mean, you saw them. We were killing some fleshes together. Maybe, maybe their flesh cousins came back to get revenge. <laughs> and I'm overloaded. I'm carrying too much junk. I just want to hoard all this stuff. I just want to sell it all. It's all mine. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Whoa. Whoa. Boars usually hunt in pairs. Yeah. I do not want to cut cross them. No way. Besides, I've got too much stuff to lose. Stalker. How are hey, you? pretty good, thanks. So, so we can sell this. We can sell that. No, that's too bad. I thought we we were uh, we'd be able to sell that. We have a lot of grenades. Wow, grenades up to a, add up to a lot of a lot of profit actually. I found one of these. So I'm going to take that artifact detector. As it actually tells you what the damn artifact is. And I think that's it for uh, selling. That's right. Get on out here. I don't know why that guy's so rude. He hates me for some reason. You can sell that to the fat guy over there. The guy who's just like, get out of here. Yeah, you can sell it to him. And. He gives you, what, 4,000? Oh, whoops. I'll take that. Take two of those. Put you away. Batteries, I don't need these. Actually, I should probably sell um, all this crap. As seeing as I don't really uh, need it. But, anyways, if you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment. Um, it really helps. I'd like some critical feedback some criteria so I can improve and uh, well thank you for watching see you next time oh remember find tools next episode <laughs>